Hello everyone, this is Yakalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equals 3 power x into 3x square minus 2. So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative. Here d square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Degree is 1. Right? Or just write the given differential equation as d square y minus 2dy plus y equals to e power x into 3x square minus 2. We know that d is a differential operator. Right? Then d square will be d square by dx square. Now we can write our equation as d square y by dx square minus 2 into dy by dx plus y equals to e power x into e power sorry 3x square minus 2. Here d square y by dx square is a highest derivative so our order will be 2 and the highest power of the highest derivative is a degree degree is 1. Now coming to the problem. Given differential equation, d square minus 2d plus 1 into y equals 3 power x into 3x square minus 2, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square minus 2d plus 1 and q equals to e power x into 3x square minus 2. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yt. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We'll find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by putting RHS to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation of non-homogeneous equation. And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So let's start with yc. Now we are going to find roots of the auxiliary equation to find the complementary function. The auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we have f of d, d square minus 2d plus 1, right? Let's replace the differential operator by m, so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 1. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 1 equals to 0. We can write minus 2m as 2 into m into 1. And 1 as 1 square. So this is of a square minus 2ab plus b square. Which is an expansion of a plus, sorry, a minus b whole square. So we can write LHS as m minus 1 whole square. Right? And also we can write m minus 1 whole square as m minus 1 into m minus 1 equals to 0. Now equate each factor to 0. From m minus 1 equals to 0, we'll get m equals to 1. Since m minus 1 is repeating twice, so we'll get two roots. m equals to 1, 1, which are equal, right? We got equal roots here. Therefore, m equals to 1, 1 are the roots of f of m equals to 0, which are equal. We know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are equal, 
then we can write complementary function as since two roots are equal right so we will get only two terms under brackets c1 plus c2x into e power that equal root into x now let's write our complementary function complementary function y c equals to c1 plus c2x into e power equal root into x then y is equals to c1 plus c2x into e power x so therefore y is equals to c1 plus c2x into e power x now let's find particular integral find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q we have f of d d square minus 2d plus 1 and q is e power x into 3x square minus 2 and also we can write d square minus 2d plus 1 as some d minus 1 whole square right into q as it is so this of 1 by f of d into e power ax into some v form, right? Now, compare this e power, a, e power x with e power ax, then for a equals to 1, we need to find d plus a, which is equals to d plus 1. Now, what we'll do, we'll shift e power ax towards left by replacing this d by d plus a and we'll operate v with 1 by f of d plus 1 okay so here we need to shift e power x towards left so we'll get e power x into 1 by now replace this d by d plus 1 we'll get d plus 1 minus 1 whole square into v 3x square minus 2 then our yp becomes e power x into 1 by now remove these brackets you'll get d plus 1 minus 1 whole square into v 3x square minus 2 Here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled so you will get e power x into 1 by d square into v right which is equals to e power x into now split 1 by d square as 1 by d into 1 by d we know that d is a differential operator and 1 by d is an integral operator so first let's operate v with 1 by d Since 1 by d is integral operator, so what we have to do here? We have to integrate e power 3x square minus 2 which is equals to e power x into 1 by d into integral 3x square dx. Since 3 is constant, so we can write just write integral 3x square dx minus integral 2 dx. Now take the constants outside the integral. We will get e power x into 1 by d into 3 integral x square dx minus 2 integral dx. Which is equal to e power x into 1 by d into 3 into integral x square dx is x cubed by 3 minus 2 into integral x is sorry integral dx is x. Here 3, 3 gets cancelled, so you'll get e power x into 1 by d into x cube minus 2x. Again, we'll operate the terms under brackets with 1 by d. Now, yp becomes 
e power x into integral of x cube minus 2x into dx which is equals to e power x into integral x cube dx minus integral 2x dx take this constant outside the integral you will get e power x into integral x cube dx minus 2 into integral x dx is equals to e power x into integral x cube dx is x power 4 by 4 minus 2 into integral x dx is x square by 2. 2 to gets cancelled this is equals to e power x into x power 4 by 4 minus x square. So now we got y pay which is equals to e power x into x power 4 by 4 minus x square. Therefore y p equals to e power x into x power 4 by 4 minus x square. Now we can write the general solution. We know that the general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to we have yc c1 plus c2x into e power x plus yp e power x into x power 4 by 4 minus x square. This completes a problem. We have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.